Aqua friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and today we are going to be doing an autumn inspired still life with a very dreamy background. I have a special technique to share with you at the end of the video so keep watching to find out how to make these leaf impressions. They're very subtle and they just add a gorgeous addition to the different textures in the painting. So let's get started. We are going to do the background first, working wet on wet. We're going to wet your paper really, really well. And then I'm adding in some autumn colors. I have chosen to work with some raw sienna or yellow ochre will work as well. Uh, burnt sienna, burnt ombre, some sepia, uh, touches of iso yellow and quinacridone sienna to get these punches of gold that you're seeing right here, these bright colors. Now to further manipulate the watercolors, give it a little spritz and tilt your paper and just watch the magic happen. That's one thing I love about watercolor is when you add water and the colors flow together, that's when you see some really cool effects. So while the paper is still wet, I am adding some salt to get some different textures in the background. The reference photo does have bokeh lights, but I figure you guys are pretty sick of the bokeh lights by now since I've done it so much. Um, I do love bokeh lights though. They're just so much fun to paint. So I decided to add salt. Now here's a tip for you. If you're happy with the amount of salt that has worked and you don't want to let it go any further, you can brush off the salt to stop the activation process. So that's what I did just there. You're going to let your paper dry completely before we start on the branches or leaves, or you can assist the drying process like I am. So I'm starting with adding leaves to the bottom of the paper and I'm using the same colors, some browns and ochres, burnt sienna and sepia. Now I am switching to a chisel brush as well to get some bigger leaves and I really love how you can double load the brush and get some very cool colors. So if you want to see a video on how exactly I do the strokes, I am going to put that in the description of the video and you can find it at the top of the screen as well. So some of the leaves, as you can see in the reference photo, are melting into the background. You only see part of the leaves and some you see them fully. And so I am mimicking that by lifting up some areas, turning our attention to the top part and getting the top leaves in. I have a very light sketch that I'm following and I'm putting the branches in, leaving some spaces for the leaves. And then just going right for the leaves using my chisel brush. I am using a size half an inch. Some of the leaves I have two colors and some of them I'm just using the one color. Now I'm putting some distant branches, they're too sharp and so to soften that I am just brushing over a damp brush so that the edges will turn fuzzy. Okay so now for my big reveal guys. So doing the leaf impressions, I am using just little stencils that you can find. You could even sort of make your own stencils out of uh, masking tape. What I'm holding is actually a magic eraser sheet, or you could use a chunk of a magic eraser that is damp. And I'm rubbing it over my stencil so that I get a couple of impressions. Now I'm further lifting with a piece of paper towel. So I'm doing this, of course, where you have enough paint to lift um, in some of those darker areas. 
and it just adds another dimension to the painting which i think is very pretty Um, my final touches are just uh, making sure I have all my leaves attached to stems. Sign your painting. You guys just created a very cute, inspired autumn still life. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you guys got value out of this video, then please subscribe and smash that like button. It helps me out on YouTube. Much appreciated. See you guys next week.